Hello Cancer, this is your reading for July. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. And we're going to just go ahead and just jump right into this without wasting any more time. Alright guys, let's see. What is the energy around Cancer currently? Energy around Cancer. Please show me. And we have the Four of Wands there, Aries energy. This is like, um, it, it feels like this giddiness, okay? Uh, th this is a relationship. This is stability, being happy, uh, not moving around a lot. This is like stable happiness, stability, you know, that sort of energy. What is crossing Cancer? Seven of Cups. That Seven of Cups makes this Four of Wands energy just a tad bit difficult because the Seven of Cups is kind of like having your head in the clouds and and feeling like you know you have your pick of things. So this is making me feel like. You have somebody that you are happy with, or there's somebody that makes you happy. You feel happy about this person, but there are things that you still have up in the air that you're not sure if you want to want to um, let go of here. Hmm. Let's see. What is the foundation for? Cancer's reading. What is the foundation for Cancer's reading? We have a Queen of Cups here. Hmm. Queen of Cups is very emotional. Okay. Sometimes she can be overly emotional. It doesn't mean that there are really great emotions coming from the Queen of Cups, though. That's the thing. So. I'm feeling like there's some sort of either lack of emotion coming from this Queen of Cups or there is like this influx of emotion um, uh, overreacting even in the situation with this person that you are thinking about. There's definitely love here. Maybe there's some sort of jealousy that is the underlying issue here. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Okay, we have two cards that want to come out here. Oh, I feel like there is some jealousy. And some of you guys are just not feeling that. You're not ready to walk away from the situation though. But there is some jealousy. There's some jealousy and there's um, possibly some infidelity that's causing the jealousy. Because sometimes you don't, you don't have to be this, this, this really jealous and, and insecure person. Sometimes people do things that bring out that, that side of a person. You know, and I feel like that's kind of what's going on here is like, you know, somebody was very secure in a situation and then certain things happen that made this person feel like this person, this other person was untrustworthy. And so it creates all of these like really paranoid feelings, this nine of source energy. So now somebody is watching the other person's every move and really not letting up is what I'm feeling like. Um, yeah. There's some infidelity going on here. Hmm. Know what that is, right? There's like a mistress or something going on in this situation. Secrets are being held. I don't 
thoughts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Thinking about walking away. <coughs> Excuse me. Thinking about walking away here. Confronting someone. Wanting to know the truth. Just tell me. Aries, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy here. Just tell me the truth. I'm feeling like that's what I'm hearing from some of you. That's the energy. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Cancer, Six of Pentacles, wanting reciprocity. Just give me what I give you. Give me what I give you. And don't share your time with someone else. Don't cheat on me. Just let it be me. Why am I not, you know, good enough just to be the only one? You know, that Taurus energy there. What's coming in for Cancer? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. This looks like a marriage to me. I do feel like I have to tell you that somebody is is very paranoid in this situation. This nine of swords is always like overthinking things here. That is not as bad as what you imagine it to be. So somebody is really doing a lot of overthinking in this situation. And there's a need to figure out what it is that you want. Just kind of get your head out of the clouds. Try to think logically about a situation. Um, because true commitment is here. This is Virgo energy. Family is here. Marriage is here. If it's not a traditional marriage, this is a very strong uh, relationship that I see. Okay. Now, granted... I do feel like there are some secrets that you may not know about. And then again, you may know about them. Um, there could definitely be somebody else that is in the picture uh, or was in the picture. And you may feel like they are still in the picture. Something like that. But um, I see a very strong relationship here but somebody needs to figure out exactly what it is that they want with the seven of cups being like in between this is what's keeping it from like truly connecting here it's the seven of cups energy okay how does cancer feel about this situation hmm. how does cancer feel about this situation the devil. Huh. Now, you are obsessively thinking about this. The devil is always like temptation and obsession and anger, um, jealousy, just all of those fears. This is being fearful. The Capricorn energy. Um, what is the influence here for Cancer? The Knight of Wands. Hmm. You know, this is being in and out, being flighty, being fickle. Somebody has been in and out, whether physically or mentally. It's Sagittarius energy. One minute they're in it, one minute they're out of it. I feel like there is um, uh, some sabotaging going on. When times get tough, somebody bolts. Or somebody has stepped out, like with someone else. 
And that is what um, is making this situation, this relationship so unstable. That is what's creating this, this paranoia here. You have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Cups there. But something is like, is, somebody's having like an overreaction. <clears throat> Cups or fears for Cancer. Nine of Cups. Of course you want to be happy there. You want your wishes fulfilled. Some of you want to be single. Deep down inside, this is like too much. It's too much for you. And I'm looking at the hanging man. I'm thinking you just want to rest. Something is overwhelming you. Your thoughts, your emotions are overwhelming you. You just want to be happy. <clears throat> what is the overall outcome here for Cancer? Page of Swords, not really saying too much, not really doing too much, just kind of sitting back and observing things. Um, uh, still being like, the, basically this is like the hanging man. Because the, the, the Knight of Swords rushes in, they move, they take action, they, they say what they need to say, but the Page of Swords, no, not so much. Page of Swords is more kind of laid back and just kind of observe situations and, and um, keep things to themselves. So I see for the month of July that you guys are still kind of like, you know, keeping things to yourself, not getting things off of your chest and, and kind of getting in the way of your own happiness, sacrificing yourselves is what I'm hearing. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.